Hello everybody. Just fix that up. So hello everybody and welcome to this unscheduled live. My pre-order for the 2023-2024 annual catalog has arrived and I am super excited about this catalog because there are fabulous new colours. Every year Stamping Up retires five in colours and brings in five new ones and each of those set of five uh, stay around for two years. But this year Stamping Up has announced a colour refresh so there are also 11 new or returning colours in the mix. So some of the core colours we've said goodbye to. If you want to see those colours go find my video on the last chance. However, today we are celebrating the new colours. So these are the new core colours and these are the in colours. And that's pretty much primarily what I ordered. But a few, oh, I bought two stamp sets as well. Anyhow, so let's not jibber jabber on this side. Let's flip to the table and take a look at the brand new colours. What I love to do every year when there's new colours, well, with the new in colours, is do a comparison with some cardstock samples I have of the other old, uh, some of the colours from previous years. I don't have the full Stamping Up collection, but I have a few. So let's get into it. So here are my goodies. I purchased the Stamp and Write markers. So you can buy these in color collections. So you can buy them in the subtles, brights, uh, neutrals, and what's the other one? Regals, as well as the in color collection. So two different in color collections. But because there some of the collection, some of the collections contain colors that have carried over. Stamping Up allows you to purchase just the 2023 new in core color collection. So I'm super excited about these. Let me, and the markers have all been upgraded. So we're going to be able to do a comparison of one that I have in both styles, and which is Fresh Freesia. If this is Fresh Freesia, yes. So this is the brand new Stamp and Write marker. And here is the previous Stamp and Write marker in Fresh Freesia. So the first difference we can, I don't know if you can see straight away, is that the barrel, so this is the new one and this is the old one, the barrel is actually quite a bit, it's a little bit longer. The entire length of the pen is the same, but the barrel where the ink would be contained, that's a little bit longer. So the lids are a little bit shorter. And what the other major difference is, the nibs are different. So this is the old style and this is the new style. So they've changed the nib and if I grab a piece of cardstock, let's test out the difference. So this is the old one and that's how it wrote. Oops, yep. nope, I'm trying to put the wrong lid on. And here is the new one. So the line is a bit thicker. However, I'm loving it already. It's a thicker line, but I think it's more true to color. So I am super excited about that. Okay, so that's the fine end. The brush end, let's take a comparison look at the brush tip. So we've still got the dark line and the thin line notifying which one. So that's the old style and this is the new style. The brush tip, there. Maybe if I put the cardstock behind, that'll be probably better. So they look fairly similar. There's a little bit of a difference in shape. Hello Krista, first time watching, welcome. It's an exciting video because I'm unpacking new products and doing a comparison. Oh, I do like the way the new one worked. I don't know, the old one seems to be a bit softer and the new one seems to be a bit more firmer and again the color seems to be more true to the ink pad color than the old one so that's the old one and that's the new one so old on top new and i'm just going to grab fresh freezer ink and let's just quickly stamp something in fresh freezer to see um what shall we stamp bop, 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 something a bit more solid Come on, Tanya. I know what we should stamp. Let's grab our new stamp. I grow it. I have the crafting with you. And let's grab the adorable 
stamp and cut emboss machine stamp and stamp that to see the color. Lock. And my fresh freezer might need a bit of re-inking. But there we go. So you can see, I think the new style marker, which is this one at the bottom, is more true to color to the ink pad. So that is super duper exciting. So all the markers, that means that there is also, you can purchase in the new style, the new in color. But let's, that's the old one, that's the new one. So let's take a look at each of these colors. So this is Fresh Freesia which is a returning color. It's an in color that's retiring and then coming straight back into the collection, which is exciting. This is a brand new color called Bubble Bath. Ooh. I am loving Bubble Bath. It's more of a soft pink. It is so beautiful. Then I am so thrilled that Berry Burst is returning. How exciting. And then what shall we go into? Let's go. I am also thrilled that a uh, blueberry bushel. Has returned. As has not, not Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight. So when you want a bit of a lighter navy color, Misty Moonlight is definitely your go-to color. And I am so thrilled that that's back. Now we've got a brand new color, Azure. I think that's how you pronounce it. Afternoon. And we will compare it to Pacific Point, which is retiring, but they are different. Then we have a returning also is Pretty Peacock. Wonderful. And this is a returning color, but I've never had it. This is Lost Lagoon. So excited about that one. I even bought the ink pad. And then I'm also thrilled that Lemon Lime Twist. Twist is back. Which will give it a comparison to, um, what's that green currently? Uh, the pretty, the parakeet party, party parakeet. This is another new color, the, uh, Lemon Lolly. Beautiful yellow. So 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 from I think has left. And then finally we have pecan pie. Which is beautiful. Ooh, that would be great for trees and things like that. Stems. So those are the new core colours. Lemon Lolly looks a little bit brighter than what we previously have had. And now let's take a look at the five new in colors and then we'll go through the cardstock and do a comparison. Oopsie daisy, my alarm has gone off. Okay, so in the in colors we have copper clay. Oh, it's deeper than I expected it to be. And then this is wild wheat. Except as my spelling brain is not working. Wild wheat. I'll get them eventually. Uh, pebbled path. And it is an ED. These are all kind of um, a neutrally kind of tone to them. Boho Blue, which had a bit of a sneak peek with, with the new mini stamp and cut and boss machine. And then this is Moody Mauve. 
think that's how it's spelled. M-A-U, yes. So there are the 2023 to 2025 new in colors. Let's, so if you've seen one of these videos of mine in the past, you'll know that I do a color comparison and I've purchased the color cardstock pack that has all of the colors so that I could have a sample of all straight away. And there was a limit to how many packs I could purchase of this. So I only bought two packs of each, but that will get me started. So I wanted all these beautiful new colors. And this is the in colors. So let's, oh, is there a preference? Do we want to start with the core colors or the in colors? Let me know while I pull out one of each. And let me know what colors you'd like them to compare to. Or I think I'll try to compare it to as much as I possibly can. In colors, okay. In colors it is. But I'll just, okay, so those are the in colors. And here are, normally I punch out, but let's do it this way, something different. Okay, no, I'm gonna do that up and flip to all the grays I have. Crumb cake's more of a gray. So this is Pebbled Path. And if you look, that looks very, the ink looks very similar to the, cardstock so isn't that great coordination so here is pebble path in comparison to this is basic gray which might have got a little bit of fade marks along the edges but if I ooh, the lighting is I've got the best lighting I can for this time of day so basic gray is darker than pebbled path and then this one is smoky slate gray granite and Sahara sand. So Sahara sand is completely different. Gray granite has always been like a pinky gray and this is smoky slate has always been a light gray. So it's kind of, I would say pebble path is between basic gray and smoky slate. So that's probably a nice little, um, that is a nice, uh, what's the right word? Oh, what am I thinking? That's probably a nice tone in between those two, which is fabulous. That's something we could do with. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Actually, I might just firstly place that and just bring it up one more time so that you can see those differences there. Because that way you can see the labels as well. And I'll make sure the labels are up. Okay, so the next one we have here is Copper Clay. And I don't know what to compare it to, to be honest. Um, let's see. I'm just going to grab some. Well, here's Crumb Cake. Here's Soft Suede and Early Espresso. So it's a, it's a brown, but it's a ready brown. What if we compare it to Cajun Craze? It's similar to Cajun Craze, but more brown than orange. Definitely don't need to compare it to the oranges, but the other color that comes to mind is cinnamon cider um, or bumblebee. No, bumblebee is very much still a yellow. So let's see. This copper clay is just, it's such a unique color onto itself. It's, it's darker than cinnamon cider which was from the 2020 to 2022 in color collection. Crasian K's craze is more of an orange, whereas this is definitely more of a brown, the copper clay. And then it doesn't compare to any of the other browns that we have standard. Cinnamon cider, that was the only brown. So I was thinking it was quite similar to cinnamon cider, but it's not. It really is a darker brown. I'm quite, Fascinated. Actually, I'm just going to bring in, what's the other brown that we now got? I know this isn't an in color, 
but this is the pecan pie. So here is copper clay and here is pecan pie. And if I put cinnamon cider over those, so Cajun craze blends a bit more into copper clay compared to pecan pie, but cinnamon cider is so different to both of them. And that was the one I really wanted to compare it with because I thought it would be quite similar. Then soft suede is probably, pecan pie is closer to soft suede than copper. It's, they're all unique colors. Never doubt that Stampin' Up! always brings out unique colors, even though they do remind you of something else. Um, they always have, they always do find something different. So now Moody Mode, which is, I guess, more of a pink or a purple. So let's take a look. Let's grab the pinks and purples and, um, well, it's more of a dusty and darker version to lovely lipstick. Oh, berry burst goes quite well with it. Oh, fresh fig. That's a big difference. I'll bring these up to the camera. Um, no, no, no. Let's get into the purples a bit more. Blushing bride. No, fresh freesia. Highland heather. Let's just compare it to the purples. Okay. I don't know how to do this. suppose if you did like a rainbow order, it would be, or a, not a rainbow, a monochromatic. So in terms of monochromatic, you would say Moody Mauve, then Rich Razzleberry, then Fresh Fig, and then Blackberry Bliss. And then it's really not like the other pinky purple tones. It's very different. So I'm going to remove those. Um, it's almost as if it's a blend between fresh fig and rich razzleberry, I would say. Um, but different, lighter than both. It's hard to say. It's, it is a unique color in itself as well. So that is Moody Mauve. Next we have Wild Wheat. I don't know if this is a yellow or a green. What do you think? These are the yellows. Crushed curry. I know I've put pineapple punch, which is very bright. Um, yeah, it's like a... I don't know what to compare that. What do you think? Who has this already and what have you compared it to? Definitely not pineapple punch. Let's even remove that. So it's different to the yellows. If I move those down and then I've got, and then the greens, it's more yellow than any of the greens here. Oh, let's put parakeet party. let stands out like a sore thumb. That granny apple green again, nothing like it. What about mint macaron? No, nothing like it. So it doesn't look particularly green next to some of the greens. So this is evening evergreen, garden green, old olive, mossy meadow. Doesn't blend into any of those. And then you think when you're looking at against the greens, you kind of think there's more yellow to it than green. But then when you compare it to the yellows, it doesn't look very yellow at all. Anyone got another suggestion of a color to compare it with? Let's see, my colors are now a mess. It's not a brown of some sort either. Here are the browns. Very interesting color, that's all I can say. Um, let me know in the comments, whether you're watching on YouTube or here on Facebook, live or on live. And then finally, Boho Blue. Let's see what we can compare it to. Here are the blues. And let's bring in blueberry bushel that was returning. A very different blue. It's a dustier blue compared to, oh, how about seaside? Okay, 
The best comparison I have is Seaside Spray, but it's darker than Seaside Spray. And Seaside Spray, yeah, actually these two would go really well together. I wish I had more of Seaside Spray. I think that's, if I put a purple next to Seaside Spray, no, they're both non purpley They're more, though they don't lean towards the green blues. They do lean more towards the red blues. But at the same time, they're unique. So there, there's the color comparison. And so that was the in colors. Now let's take a look at the core colors and we did one already so we already did what was that one again uh pecan pie i'm just trying to find the second sheet of pecan pie can't find it right now okay so this is hi joan how are you going this is lost no lemon lolly and i really wanted to compare it to pineapple punch and of course to all our other yellows so saffron it's like a pastel version of pineapple punch i think i'm gonna really love this color so so saffron is more of an orangey yellow as is crushed curry um, daffodil delight is so much now, of course, all this looks different depending on your lighting. And I'm looking at two different screens and it looks very different. And I've no longer got daylight. I do have some really good studio lights, but it there. I think at that point you see it better than when I bring it up closer to the camera. Um, Pineapple Punch is a brighter color, whereas Lemon Lolly is a softer color. And I think it's going to be an amazing addition to our core colors. It's just that perfect, that perfect color that you may be looking for. So that was a lost lemon lolly. I don't know why I call it lost lolly. Then bubble bath. I think we have all been waiting for a nice soft pink. Now I can now see that it's a bit more a purple pink than compared to some of our other shades. Blushing Bride. I'm just going to put Fresh Freesia on it. Though Fresh Freesia is... Purple Posy was more blue. So I don't know. So Blushing Bride from memory is the colour that's leaving us. Petal Pink. Powder Pink is gone as well. Um, Magenta Madness is gone. So is Rococo Rose. Um, but I'm doing these comparisons because you may have seen those other colors and have been familiar and you love them And so that way you can give a bit of a comparison But there is really nothing Anything like bubble bath that we've had in the well in my past um, Perhaps we have in the past past but in my past with stamping up. It's really such a beautiful new unique color a bit like lemon lolly this is a lemon lime twist, which it's no point. Oh no, that's the parakeet party. And here's lemon lime twist from the past. So you can see that blends in really well. Um, and parakeet party is more green compared to lemon lime twist. Lemon lime twist is more yellow. So if I bring pineapple punch, you can see that yellowness. Daffodil Delight. Um, this is Granny Apple Green on it. Pear Pizzazz. There's nothing really similar. I mean, Parakeet Party is similar, but there is a difference. I don't know how much of the camera you're picking up, but Parakeet Party, just to repeat, is more of a green green, whereas Lemon Lime Twist is more of a yellow green. But they are both bright. I would say they're both very, not very bright, um, not Pineapple Punch bright which was this one, but they are certainly in the brights. 
Next have is Fresh Freesia, which is a returning colour, so I don't feel the need to go through that. This is Azure Afternoon, and I really wanted to compare it to Tahitian Tide. Pacific Point, so now that I've got Pacific Point on top of it, you can see how different it is to Pacific Point. It's lighter than Pacific Point. I think Pacific Point was too dark and I've stopped using it in recent years. I think I've stopped using it since the last refresh, to be honest. Um, it's just too dark, whereas this Azure Afternoon fills that gap for that medium colour. We've got balmy blue, which is nice and pale, but we need a medium blue, which I am so excited for this. And Tahitian Tide looks really good with it, which is uh, in colour from 2022 to 2024. Okay. Lost Lagoon. Now, this is a returning colour. However, I've never had it. Um... And I am super excited that it is coming. There's soft succulent. Um, let's compare it to mint macaron. Oh, very different. It'll go really nicely with pretty peacock, which we already knew from the release of this paper here. What was it called? The Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. That uses both pretty peacock and lost lagoon. If I put a pool party onto it as well. Um, ooh. Tranquil Tide. Let's put Tranquil Tide on it as well. Okay. So I guess it's got that dusky look to it, as so does Soft Succulent. But it's definitely, it's not as bright as Coastal Cabama and Bermuda Bay. It's more dusty than just Jade and a bit more blue than just Jade. Um, a green, yellow green than a blue green. I would say this leans more blue. It is like a softer version of Pretty Peacock. I'm super excited. And then Pretty Peacock again leans more towards the blues than the greens because when you compare it to Tranquil Tide, that is more in the greens. It's almost between these two colors and lightened. Interesting. Well, welcome Lost Lagoon. I'm thrilled to have you. Here is the, not the copper cake, the pe pe pecan pie, which we've already done our comparison. This is not Night of Navy. This is Misty Moonlight, which, as I said, is a lighter version of Night of Navy. So you can see that in this comparison with Night of Navy. And maybe let's compare it to Starry Sky. So Starry Sky is definitely more purple than, um, than blue. Pacific Point is a brighter blue, whereas Misty Moonlight is a more dusty blue. Uh, there's Orchid Oasis. So you can definitely see Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky are definitely much more in the purple towards the reds. Um, whereas this is definitely more towards the blue and dusty and lighter than Night of Navy, which is lovely to have. Oh, and let's see with Blueberry Bushel. Blueberry Bushel is a brighter colour, I guess you could say. So that is Misty Moonlight. Berry Burst. I am so thrilled that this is back. Let's see. It's just, it's no comparison. It's definitely a pink. So Sweet Sorbet is more of a red color, um, whereas Berry Burst is definitely more of a, let's put some purple tones, let's see, uh, Rich Razzleberry, Fresh Fig, Blackberry Bliss, they all go really well with Berry Burst. Um, Magenta Madness was very different. Lovely Lipstick is more red. So I guess this has got more purple tones than red tones in it. Um, it's darker than Melon Mambo. Sweet Sorbet almost looks orangey next to it, which is interesting. What about Polished Pink? No, oh, that's leaving. Oh, Polished Pink and Berry Burst look really lovely together. They would blend well together. Um, Lovely lipstick is very similar, but deeper um, shading. But yes, these colors go so, all of these colors go well with Berry Burst. 
My favorite combo, I'll just show you, is Berry Burst with Coastal Cabana and Highland Heather. Little Miss is just snuck in. This is a very favorite, not a very favorite, but this was a combo that I really enjoyed for about a month when we had our last color refresh because um, Berry Burst was retiring and Highland Heather was coming in and Little Miss has just walked back out. Um, so I'm really excited that I'll be able to use this color combo now a bit more now that the colors are all in. Okay, this is, bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. let me think, what color is this? this? You don't know. Oh, this is Blueberry Bushel. Ooh. Blueberry Bushel. I've seen. Let me just double check. Yep, this is definitely Blueberry Bushel. And it is a brighter um, blue compared to Night of Navy. However, darker than the Pacific Point. And if we bring, what was that other color I was saying? Ah, here, here's Azure. So much darker than Azure afternoon, which is lighter than Pacific Point. I would say it's darker than Pacific Point, but much lighter than Night of Navy and lighter than Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight's got that dusty, dark, sense to it but lighter and brighter compared to night of navy whereas azure afternoon is a little bit happier not as happy as pacific point in terms of brightness but still really lovely i am looking forward to having a blueberry bushel i'm back I'm back in the colors and then finally we have pretty peacock that is pretty. It is pretty. So let's give it a comparison to Tranquil Tide, Evening Evergreen. Well, don't compare it to Pretty Peacock. Um, Shaded Spruce. Let's see. So Shaded Spruce is definitely more of a yellow green compared to Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock leans towards the blues. Yeah, it does. Um, all three of these actually are more yellowy greens, even though I would have never called them that on their own. Oh, garden green is so different. Ooh. I would definitely call Pretty Peacock a green of some sort. However, it's a blue green mm. and it is really unique. It's soft succulent. It's, if we start putting blues on it, so that's greens on Pretty Peacock. Let's start putting some of the blues on Pretty Peacock. You can see it's it's not a blue either. It's not quite green. Though. It's mossy meadow. It's not quite a green and it's not quite a blue. In the um, it's really somewhere in the middle and I'm really thrilled that it is now one of our beautiful core colors. Okay, so that's the colors. I purchased three of the ink pads. I got Bubble Bath. Lom, lo, I want to call it Lost Lemon, but it's not. It's, it's Lemon, lemon lost. Lolly and Lost Lagoon. And I also always try to buy your ink refills as you, when you buy the ink pads. That way they're more likely to match. So I will. The Lemon Lolly's ink refill kind of looks like an orangey red. It does look a bit different in there. And then I still have my old Misty Moonlight and I still have my old pretty peacock, so they are here on my desk to come out and enjoy the parties. Um, what else did I get? So I got these beautiful ribbons. It's a combo pack, ribbon duo combo pack. And it, I think this was, I can't remember. <laughs> can't show you the catalog right now, but this is in lemon lime twist and no, I'm gonna have to look it up. Let's find it in the catalogue without showing. Yeah. Ooh, nope, wrong catalogue. Where'd it go? Could be that sort of thing. Yes, that is it. I Here's the catalogue, but I can't open it inside yet. Not until not until the second of May. Second of May. Second of May. And uh, flipping, here's the ribbons. There it is. It's lemon lime twist. 
and petal pink. Oh, so petal pink on the Petal pink and this is got white and petal pink stripes. We've had ribbons like this in other colors in the past and I've always really loved them. So I'm really thrilled that that is in the combo pack. And then what did I say? Lemon twist. L lemon mm. lime twist. It's really fine. It's got a bit of white through it as well. Let's, let's do the bow test. What's the bow test do? Just shows you how pretty the bows are. So you could still do a quite a big bow with this even though it's quite a fine ribbon and it still makes a nice beautiful little bow. Can we do a Yes, bow absolutely. Test a bow test with the petal pink. Ooh. Fingers stuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like that one as well. Yes, I, I this is why I bought it. I knew it makes beautiful bows. Yeah, that's better for matching bows, I reckon. So there's that one. Okay, then I couldn't help myself and I purchased the Stamped With Love stamp set. This is um, Angel Policy, so it's got the Stamping Up logo. Krista loves the fine ribbons. I do too, Krista. I, the big ones sometimes are just too hard to work with. Um, so this is the Angel Policy. So for those who may not know what the Angel Policy is, is that Stamping Up allows you to sell your finished products using their stamps. Um, they still own the copyright to the stamped uh, stamps because Ooh. they designed the things. So all you need to do is stamp copyright Stamping Up on the back. You can use any of the other past Angel Policy stamp sets, but this is the new one. And I really loved this stamped hand stamped especially for and then you can write the person's name and then you can get underneath so you can get a card isn't that sweet and i just i loved this image and i loved the ornate post box and these two these two fit inside there is a cute little heart and i do love fountain pens can i just point out i love fountain pens i love writing with fountain pens have you ever written with a fountain once once it was super cool and then you quickly did see this just before but there is a new crafting bundle and this is a million dollar stamp set from Irene Wenderlunt and she designed this. Isn't it cute? So we've got the mini stamp and cut and boss <laughs> machine. We've got an easel. The flower image is separate. That's a little flower and a love heart. We've got some paint brushes. We've got a sewing machine for those sewers out there. We've got a uh, some yarn. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, actually, this is more wool because it's got some knitting needles, a little basket so you can put your yarn in or your paint brushes. Sending you a handmade hug. Like, who wouldn't want that sentiment? If you're a card maker, you need that sentiment. Yeah. With love, life is better when you're crafting. I 100% agree. Yeah. And then you inspire me. How many people do you come across on in our wonderful crafting community that inspire you. So wouldn't it be nice to send them something that yeah. shows them that you've been inspired? And dice? there's the coordinating dies. Dice. I love dice. You love dies? So this has some extra bits. That's it. You can cut out the easel and the basket and the paint brushes and the flowers, the two. Um, let's see what else can it cut out. It can cut out the mini st oh, the uh, stamp and cut emboss machine. It can cut out the sewing machine. But then there are some additional elements in this. So you've got some little buttons there. You've got some threads. So you've got some spools. Oops. Some spools. And then you can cut in a different color some threads. You've got cross stitching hoop you've got the love heart that can be cut out what's this one is that oh you can cut out the yarn excellent but then you can create little scissors that's my favorite um uh, die die yeah. and then you can cut out a little carry basket you can cut out a little measuring tape and i've got to say this one's my favorite mm. do you know what it is yeah this uh, um, you measure and cut and It's um, the gorge. stamp and trimmer. Yeah. Yes. So you can cut one of those out. How adorable is that? Now, what do we think? Do we have time to make something? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes? I would say let's make something with this. 
Yes? Yeah. Yes. Can you make scissors? Can I make some scissors? Um, no, I'm not going to make some scissors right now. I'm going to do... Yes. Krista says yes, so... Yes. It's um, consensus. Okay, I'm going to mount that flowers. These flowers really appeal to me. And I think we'll cut out a stitching hoop with the flowers. Um... Or, or do we want the mini stamp and cut emboss machine? Ooh. Oh, 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 too, too many. Hard, too too hard, too hard, too hard. Let's go with the sentiment. Um, life is better when you are crafting. Can I have no, no. I think the long one, please? Uh, I, think, I think that would be too long. Oh, that's perfect. Actually, we could do that, layer that with the flowers in the background. Might even use bubble bath. <gasps> bubble bath. Though I do, I'm trying to see. Can I do my favorite combo? No, let's just um, yep. Let's grab that little A block, please, my dear. Little flower. And another A block, please. Give a little love heart. See that, please? Yep. And I've already got. The stamp and cut emboss machine mounted. So we'll do something with that. And let's see where it takes us. Let's see where it takes us. You need some paper if you're scared. I will need some cardstock, you are right. What? But let's try to work out our colour palette first. Since we've got all these colour swatches <laughs> everywhere. I like them. Let's see. Uh, I don't have a swatch of bubble bath yet. Let's see what if I used bubble bath, which is this one. Yeah. It's bubble bath. Let's do a bubble bath base. Ooh. <gasps> I know what I'm going to do. I do think Lost Lagoon would look quite nice. Yes, Lost Lagoon and bubble bath. And if we added one more color. Well, berry burst, but no, I don't have any berry burst ink pad yet. Oh, oh no, I've got the marker. I can use the yes, marker. Yes, 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 yes. Um, hmm. I think we'll do that. I like that. Okay. So, pass me my... Actually, I'll grab it. Let's go. Yay. Wow, bubble bath and yellow look nice together. Which yellow, Michelle? Um... I really do love bubble bath and where's the power cardstock and the new lemon lolly. Ooh. They do look really good together. Complement each other. They do. They're, no, they're both kind of subtle. The new one, yes. They're both, um, they are in the subtle's collection, surprisingly. <laughs> okay. Wonder why. You wonder why? I do not. Actually, I'm going to do a horizontal card. Um, which I don't often do. I tend to do portrait cards. I like horizontal. So if I just scored that the, not the way I wanted to. Oh. That's okay. I can <laughs> leave that for another project. Talking too much. Too many ideas rolling through my head. Nope, that's not bubble bath. That's fresh freesia. There's bubble bath. So we're yeah. having all the colours. Okay, so I need to score at ten and a half. That's to get half, and then I'm going to cut in half at 14.85. The subtitle said fresh freezer. That's okay. It's not going to be perfect. That's funny. And just burnish that, and now we're going to open up the bubble bath ink pad. New ink pad. Brand new ink pad, which probably will be quite juicy. Ju so I'm going to just ju ju juicy. move some of that ink That's why to the side. Oh. Because I probably should grab a piece of grid paper, which I know I have. Yeah, I've got some grid paper. I'm going to give you accidentally a mini paper. I didn't mind which size. Okay, so I'm going to, first off, stamp these beautiful flowers. 
So this is Bubble Bath on Bubble Bath cardstock. That looks so good. So if you were to use um if you were to use Versamark ink, Versamark would be lighter. I'm getting a darker look because I'm using the same ink, but I did swoosh that ink to the side so that would make it a little bit lighter than normal. I love that. Love that. Love, love, love it. Do you know where I keep the cut up basic white for the inserts? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that is. <laughs> Here's my basic. Oh, can you grab me an envelope, please? Envelope. Aren't they over here or something? You... Down. Here? No, wrong side. So, I was close. You were close. I couldn't, I mean, but I couldn't say the right words to get it down. Okay, so I've put the flower inside there, and let's do the flower on the front of the envelope. There. So that is all in bubble bath ink. So that will go inside, and because I know it's going inside, I'm going to just adhere that down. Are you going to add some flowers on it? I did already. Oh, oh yeah, you did. <laughs> so I don't get it dirty or lose it somewhere on my very messy nail desk. There's a huge pile right in front of me of stuff. Yes, there is. Oh, I have one more thing to show. <gasps> what is it? It's in that box there. You remind me. We'll make the card first and then at the end we Wait, shall. Can I go look inside the box? No, you don't get to see what, tell what it is. Okay. So we've got that, and what did we decide? We decided on Berry Burst and Lost Lagoon. Oh, it's covered in the foam. It is covered, firstly. Um, so I am going, I can't stamp in Berry Burst. That's would be nice if I could stamp in Berry Burst, but I cannot. Um, let's bring in the trimmer again. I'm going to cut this in half at ten and a half. This is where I wish I still had my Berry Burst ink and that I ordered it. Though I did order it today. Today's free shipping. Orders Yay. over. Um, orders over $65 in Australia receive free shipping today. Yippee. So I may have ordered all the in color ink cards and some of the other stuff and <laughs> Maybe just got some stamping rewards to spend on some more ink pads. Did you go colors. a little bit crazy? I may have gone a little bit crazy. That's I think okay. that's. Do we like that size? Yes, yes. yes or do we yes. want it a little bit thinner? I think a little bit thinner. I just want to see what it looks like a little bit thinner because I don't know. I'm going to cut a centimeter off. So I did it initially at five and now I'm cutting it down to four centimeters. I can't wait to see what's inside this photo. Okay. Um, yes, I, I'm happy with it with thinner. Oh, and yeah, now that looks nice. the Lost Lagoon. That, oops. It's only got stuck in here. I can't reach it. Oh. I know she's that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. Um, where are the uh, rectangles? The deckled rectangles. That's the one I want. D, B, C, D, the decked rectangles. Oh, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Exactly what you're thinking. Okay, yes. Okay, so the bigger decked rectangle will do in Lost Lagoon, um, which I'll trim because I won't, that won't fit. Mini Bailey? Um, actually, yes, you can bring Mini Bailey out because I'll cut Hello. that. So it'll fit through Mini Bailey. Can Thank I do you. the on-off? Oh, yes, please. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. Can you leave it in here? I got my nails done. Um, and they've lasted well, I've got to say. However, um, there, you can do that there. They've lasted well. Here. I'll give you the plate. Thank you. Um, however, it's um the dip polish system. So I've never had it before, and it the nail polish itself is very thick. Well, it's it's very strong, but.
but it's extremely thick. And so I, I sometimes I have trouble picking up pieces of cardstock off my desk. Really? Let me know. Have you ever had your nails done in the zip system? And how have you found it for your crafting experience? So there's the basic white one. Actually, can you do the white one for me first? Yeah, you I'm take, it down. You take that one down as well. Yes, I'll take this one down for you. It's hard and we're going to take them and going quite see. Um, you're going to have to hold on, stop. I'll give you a different. Okay. Yes, here, use this top plate. Okay. Have to Go backwards. Um, and then we're going to stamp. Boss machine, which I'm just going to give that a clean. Yeah. I'm going to stamp that in Lost Lagoon. So while you're cutting, I'll open my Lost Lagoon. I like Lost Lagoon. Do you? I do too. Yeah. That's right. Okay, That's yeah. right. We're just yeah. we're just dropping things. It's yeah. all good. The table is not as messy as it could it be. So that's it. Full strength, brand new Lost Lagoon. That's stamped off. What I'm going to do now is just, sometimes I find the ink pads are a little too juicy for my liking. So I'm going to use that clear block to push the ink to it one side. That's okay. And where's that one? Now I'm going to stamp that again. Oops, no, there's more. Will it fit on this scrap? I'm sure I had more scraps of basic white. Nope, that's not a scrap. Well, we could do it down here. There we go. That's a fairly similar impression. I think that one's just got that little bit more detail so we can push it. It was three. But you can go. Rolling but not doing see? Well let me help. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Might be time for a new plate? No, not plate. Are you okay? Yeah. You jammed your fingers, my dear. Are you okay? Yeah, my finger says I'm okay. Your finger says you're okay? Ouchie. There you go, that's turning. You keep going. Okay. Yay! That's the envelope. Oh, oh, mess on my desk. Your pencil. Oh, that's all right, it's not in there. It's just the cover. Phew, phew. Okay. Okay. This is a trim. Would you like the pretty peacock? Hello though? Felicity, thanks for joining. You'll have to watch the replay. We've done the entire colour comparison. So we've had over here I've got all my little swatches from all the colours I've ever had. Well, and then we've done a comparison okay. all of new colours. All the colours you've ever had. I think almost ever had. There might be one or two I missed. And now we're creating with the Crafting With You bundle because you know, you've got to try out some. And then we're going to put that there, which is Lost Lagoon. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. You need to die cut out. Folks, about that alarm, it's a reminder to take some meds. And I, I didn't think about the fact that that goes off just after five o'clock when I said we'll do the live at five. That's right. Here we go. Can you please? Oh no, I wanted to use this one. Oh no, they're, they're the You're same. You're confusing me. I'll just die cut that yeah. out, please. Okay, I'll die cut this one out. So, and then we're going to layer those decalled. It's this way. And I'm going to use the sentiment, life is better when crafting. And I'm going to stamp 
Oh, what was that comment? Um, Lost Lagoon looks like a dark swap. Uh, Starked at soft succulent. Let me just bring that in. I can't remember if I did the soft succulent on Lost Lagoon. It's different. Why can't I find soft succulent? Do I have some greens? Oh. Have you done the die cutting? Yes, you find the soft succulent, please. They're now out of order. They're all over my bench. But that's okay. That's should. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. And we'll put that there. And I think it'll be better if I stamp in Memento Black. Just because. Wait. Um, that's another S one, but it's not the right S. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here's Soft Succulent. You knew I saw it, but I okay. missed it. Okay, so... There's Soft Succulent and there's Ooh. Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon looks like a duck. I think he may be right there, Krista. Yeah, it is. Um, very, very similar. It's a shame Soft Succulent is leaving us. What? Well, it was an in colour. Mm. Oh. And I didn't like it until now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I like Soft Succulent with Lost Lagoon. I really liked Lost Lagoon. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my team's going to love that. Hated soft succulent the last two years. Really? Yes. I didn't actually mind it that much. I was mm. like, oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's never been my color. It's Black never been my favorite. Better when you're crafting. Mm. There we go. And then. Little baby. I'm Maybe. going to stick down the Lost Lagoon panel. Um. <laughs> Just with adhesive. This looks so good. So, and then this one we're going to use dimensionals. Dimensionals! I don't know why you're so excited about dimensionals, my dear. I like them. I like them. Yeah. Well, one thing the dip polish didn't ruin is my ability to run my fingernail on the back of the dimensionals. I think it helped it. Well, it's a bit stronger now, yeah. I suppose. But I've, I've never been... broken a nail from doing this. No, never. I, I never do it, so I've never done it because I've broken a nail either. Well, I do it sometimes. Okay, I, I'm not brave enough to make sure I line this up properly, so I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue on the dimensional, so that way I have oh, the wiggle, wiggle room. room. I've said that a few times. We love wiggle glue. We do love wiggle glue. There. Life is better when you're crafting. And then. And then, where are you putting it? You're putting it right there. We'll put that there. And I think we can stick that down. The back of it looks hey, honey. funny. Welcome home. Oh no, that's little man. <laughs> Big man is back. Yes. There. And we do need. I feel that we need something else. What do you think it needs? I think it needs something there. No. Ah, uh, da 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 Twinkle Tell and stuff. Uh, no, no <laughs> Winkle Stella today. No, but I meant like the thing that we Winkle Stella. Bling! Yeah, bling, bling, bling. We need bling, bling. 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 And I know exactly which bling. bling I would like to use. Hello, honey. Welcome home. Yours in the center. Yes. Yours. Yes, it is life. But we're almost done. And um, we definitely need some bling. That sounds so funny when you put it down. I love this. Cool. Um, well, I was going to say I love the iridescent rhinestones because they pick up the colours of the cardstock from underneath them and it's got that iridescent beauty to it as well. Other side of that, um, take your picture. Um, for. that one's you can use for some embossing, huh. which I haven't really done. Or you could stick it into the back of my dimensional so it helps you get it. No, out. that oh, one's oh, it's a ball, anyhow. Okay. So, I think that is enough for tonight in terms of crafting. 
where we did make a project. But I did promise to share the one last thing I ordered in my pre-order. It's here, it's here. And this is a demonstrator only item. So if you like it, you're gonna to have to become a demonstrator to be able to purchase it. And I don't like the phone though. Um, but what is that? See, I told you you wouldn't be able to tell. But it is a coat stand. <gasps> so you're going to be able to display. It's a bit hard to show, but it's got a nice two grooves. Wait, how many cards approximately do you think you could fit? Well, Four? I could fit two, two um landscape cards on each. Let's grab some cards I've made in the past. And Ooh, those pretty. Actually, not those ones. Um that's a nice one. So let's see, it fits one. It it was announced just after pre-order started, Michelle. So you can only really fit, you couldn't fit. Oh, you could fit three. <gasps> So you can fit three in portrait mode, and then you can fit two in landscape mode. Here's another landscape card. And that's a nice card. And here is portrait so That's you can fit five or to six five to six depending well i guess four to six four to six depending on the mode unless you um, have one card and i'm just trying to think for the north american folks your cards are when they're in portrait they're a little bit shorter so you will definitely fit two in landscape as well but they're a little bit wider so maybe i don't know maybe you won't be able to fit three across don't know if there is a um, different size in the States. I assume there isn't. So you might not be able to fit three across, but here in this Australia, as long as we keep them to 10 and a half centimeters wide, you'll be able to fit three across. And that would look really good at a card class or on display. Yeah. Um, like, so yes. You could put the cards that you're gonna be making on it. Yes, exactly. Anyway, so I thought that would be a fun thing to purchase. Thank Let's just, um, there's the card we made and that was using, oh my goodness, the mess, <laughs> the mess, the mess, the mess, the mess, anyhow. So that is it, my friends. Um, my desk is very messy. I made Sarah a picture, but here is the project we made. And there are all these beautiful new colors. Let's see if I can fan them out a little bit no nope, can't really fan them out but those are all the wonderful new colors that have joined us um thank you so much for joining me and spending some time with me i hope those uh, have helped you get a better understanding of the colors that are soon coming near you um customers if you shop with me in the last six months your catalogs have arrived to me today so it's going to get, give me some time to make some cards that I like to send out and then I will be sending those out to you. So hopefully you'll get them by the end of April. Fingers crossed. That's always the plan. Plans do not always go away. Anyway, tomorrow, uh, little, <laughs> little Miss Picks, uh, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, where Little Miss picks one stamp set and one color, or one and one, and I'll see what I create. Thanks very much and bye for now.